After months of speculation, Toyota has finally uncovered the facelifted version of its popular midsize SUV, the Fortuner. The newly refreshed Fortuner has made its debut in Thailand following an official teaser a few days back. The new Toyota SUV now comes with significant design changes especially on the front, several features as well as one of the bumped-up engines in its class, and a new Legender variant that takes the SUV into a whole new level. Are you ready to know more about this vehicle? Let's go and have a review. What's up guys and welcome to another Craft episode. Today, we're going to have an overview of the 2021 Toyota Fortuner. If you find this video helpful, hit the like, share, and subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you'll be updated on our latest episode. The new look Toyota Fortuner features a much more aggressive stance. At the front, it gets a new massive black mica metallic grille that is flanked by a pair of chrome strips, a thinner sportier headlamps, a redesigned bumper, skid plates with a silver finish, and fog lamps without the outgoing model's chrome housing. The new Toyota Fortuner has been launched along with a new sportier Legender variant which differentiates from the standard version in many ways. The Toyota Fortuner Legender features a sharper and sportier frontal stance. It gets less chrome and more blacked out trims. The headlamps patterns appear sleek and the grilles are divided into two parts having shorter but sportier upper grilles and larger air dams akin to what we find in modern Lexus vehicles. The fog lamps surrounding has also been changed compared to the regular version. The Legender also gets Lexus-like sequential turn signals on the lower side of the bumper, dual-beam projector LED headlamps, and new stylish LED daytime running lamp patterns. Just like the front, the side profile of the Legender is blessed with more sporty-looking blacked-out trims. It gets ORVMs with turn signal, side-step boards, extended fenders, and the most noticeable A to C pillars and the roof running all the way to the rear spoiler are all dipped in black. Also, the Legender's alloy wheels have been reworked, now with a new 21-inch dual-tone design with different patterns. The standard Fortuner on the other hand gets an 18-inch single-tone alloy, silver sidestep boards, chrome outside door handle, black fenders, and color keto RVMs. Towards the back portion of the Fortuner, the design is most likely the same with the outgoing model. The LED tail lamps have been reprofiled, and the bumper receives an enhancement. Moreover, the tailgate chrome of the regular Fortuner has been altered with black finish in the Legender variant, ensuring a sleeker look. The latter too is embedded with a badge indicating it's a Legender variant, and its rear reflectors get a twist to enhance its sportiness at the rear. Inside, the seats have been completely overhauled. All of the Fortuner variants get power adjustable for the driver and front passenger. Additionally, these seats are nicely covered with black leather and synthetic leather materials. The Legender gets a black and maroon seat combo. As for the infotainment system, the standard Fortuner gets an 8-inch resistive touchscreen while the Legender gets a larger 9-inch resistive touch. Both support Apple CarPlay connectivity voice recognition, key connect system, and get a total of six speakers. Although the interiors of the Fortuner variants are most likely the same, the Legender is more exclusive to some features and technology. It gets wide accented trim panels, wireless charger, new ambient lighting, interior floor carpet, kick activated electric tailgate sensor set, and more. The good thing is, all Fortuner grades are now entitled with Smart Keyless Entry, which means you may start the rugged SUV just by pushing a button, provided that the remote key is within the vehicle's range. The standard Fortuner is powered by a 4-cylinder inline 16-valve dual overhead cam turbo diesel engine with variable nozzle turbo and intercooler. This 2GDF-TV engine produces 150 horsepower at 3,400 revolutions per minute, and 400 newton meters of torque at 1,600 to 2,000 revolutions per minute. Meanwhile, the Legender is marketed with two engine options, 
a 2.4 liters engine similar to the standard Fortuner, and a familiar 2.8 liters turbo diesel engine, but now gives a souped up performance of 204 horsepower and 500 newton meters torque. Even with the bump in power, Toyota promises that it was able to make it more refined and quieter, the credit goes to the addition of a new balance shaft. The Fortuner retains its six-speed automatic transmission for the entire lineup of the vehicle for the Thai market. Additionally, the addition of paddle shifters and cruise control makes driving the sophisticated SUV much easier. Just like the Toyota Hilux, the refreshed Fortuner also gets access to the Japanese brand's Toyota Safety Sense. The SUV gets a 360-degree rear-view mirror along with more safety features including collision prevention system, radar-guided dynamic cruise control, and lane departure warning. The refreshed 2021 Toyota Fortuner is expected to arrive in the Philippines in the third quarter of the year, and there's no doubt, it is much sportier than the outgoing model. But, will we get the same spec sheet with the Thai market? Is it worth the price? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching this episode. If you have topic suggestions, just comment down below. If you find this video helpful, hit the like share, and subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you'll be updated on our next episode.